No, it was really great that we got that win on uh, Saturday, and it's uh, you know it was really outstanding. Our offense come back and play the way they did. I told our defense that we did not play up to the standard that we're used to seeing them play at. And uh, just offensively, you know, we go jump out there quickly. We get to 14 to nothing, and then uh, they come back, go 14 to seven, have a chance to really put the game out of reach. Not so much put it out of reach, but get another seven there. And then Tyrone throws the ball across his body, creates an interception. But you, he knew it the moment he threw that interception, he just runs off the field and knew that it was his mistake. And then uh, you see the stretch there at the end when they, our offense takes the ball and score. Then a minute and what, 19 to go, and then our defense allowed them to move the ball down the field. And then it was probably about 22 seconds left on the clock. And I said to Waddle with a heads on him and Wick, I said, look, we depend on the return. If we're going to really send this game into overtime, I said, if we get a good return, we're going to go for it. So we got the return. and. Uh, I said, hey, let's take a shot. And then we, uh, Shibley was able to beat the uh, DB down the sideline. Then they come back to the next play. And I said, how many yards do we need to get the field goal? And they said, I think we need about five. I said, no, hey, no, 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 let's make sure now. If I said, let's get as close as many yards as we can. I don't want five. Let's try to get about seven to nine here if we can. And then they go uh, press coverage. And uh, John was able to beat the defender over the top. And Tyrone made a, a really good throw. And it's, it's, uh, it's just so fun to watch the develop of Tyrone and how he's getting better and better week by week. And, and then their offense is going to go as our quarterback go. Our offensive line, you know, we squeeze in every drip out of them. You know, they played well. Um, Cameron Hughes started for the first time. I, I tease him and call him NCAA all the time. But uh, he ended up starting and played very well. But it's just a fun to see our offense and also our special team stepped up. We had some really big returns. Guys got down and covered the kick. But uh, like I said, defensively, we weren't very pleased. And they weren't very pleased. And our players weren't pleased. And it's good when you get them in that position where they feel like that they, they know that the standard has been raised here and what the expectations are. Since your defense has played so well, is the confidence level pretty high that you can get things, some things corrected going to K-State? Water's a pretty crappy quarterback, too. It is good. You know what? It is. It is. It's good that that happened because now we have to slow down Waters. And you're right. And then you look at Lockett on the outside. He's a really outstanding receiver. So for our defense, it's, it's sometimes you, you need to be brought down to earth. And I think that all the press is about the defense playing well. The defense playing well. And now they have a chance that they really got a got a challenge in front of them, and they have to step up. Coach, uh, in recent history, Texas has not fared well against Kansas State. How do you change that? Or is there some magic potion to change? Texas winning on the road in Manhattan? I think we were like one and five out there last time was what, 0 2. And I was teasing Tubbs because he's on our staff now, and he was the one who blocked that field goal. But we haven't done well at all. And it, this is a road game, and it's one of those games that's all about our focus and our emotion. And, but it's all about our defense, too. We've got to play great, great defense. If we're going to go out there and get that game, we've got to play great defense, and it's about playing great defense on the road.